Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth, beloved and chosen ones of Yahuwah. I am so glad to have you here tonight with me. Um, we are reading video number seven of volume one of Beguiled Eden to Armageddon. I apologize we didn't start from volume one and then go to volume two, but um, the title page just seemed really relevant to the times that we're in right now in volume two and that's why we started with volume two on the other channel but um i had to finish it on this channel i'm hoping everyone else um will find this channel and subscribe um, i love you all so much shroud's image formed from pure light and not a fake during december 2011 italian researchers at the Capital E, but it's all caps, E-N-E-A, EMEA Research Center in Frascati actually came very close to proving a burst of radiation could have created the shroud's image. They were able to use an ultraviolet laser on modern linen cloth to form image similarities to that on the shroud. Lead researcher... Paolo Di Lara, or Lara, or sorry, Lazaro, Paolo Di Lazaro, sorry, told reporter Al Alan Boyle in his December 23rd, 2011 article, was Holy Shroud created in a flash? Italian researchers resurrect claims. That, that he and his colleagues achieved a very superficial shroud-like color, uh, coloration of linen yarns in a narrow range of irradiation parameters. In fact, the article says, the best effect was using laser pulses lasting less than 50 nanoseconds. These processes may have played a role in the generation of the body image on the Shroud of Turin. According to these researchers, so far using advanced technology of today, no one has been able to produce a perfect image. Because of this fact, the article expounds the Shroud of Turin could not have been faked by someone a long, a long time ago. They didn't have this technology back then. The image is truly a miracle using a force of light that transcends what humans can scientifically explain. If, or wait, sorry, it formed while suspended in mid-air as, Yahusha, as Yahusha, Yahusha's backside was not compressed. There is no doubt in my mind, this shroud is real and was produced just as I claimed back in 1999 in my book, anti Mashia, which she put anti-C-H-R-I-S-T, the cloned image of J-E-S-U-S-C-H-R-I-S-T, um, that it was a burst of pure light that produced the image. Um, now, when I say I, that is Dr. Joy. Dr. Joy went on to expound even more on the Shroud's authenticity in her second book, Eden, the Knowledge of Good and Evil, with the beast number, 666. My position remains the same, that Yahusha's image on his Shroud was created due to harmonic resonance from his pure light. Pure light is something mankind cannot reproduce, but it is real. And our advancements in science will soon allow proof there is, in fact, a purer light than man has an ability to produce. In fact, our scripture says Yahusha was pure light. For example, in Genesis 1, 3 through 4, we are told about light being created before there was a sun, moon, and stars. Created later in Genesis 1, 14 through 19, Yahuwah, the father, through his Ruach HaKodesh, moved upon the waters and then created light through the power of sound, his words, through his word. In the beginning, Yahuwah created the Shamaim and the Eretz, the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. 
and the Ruach of Yahuwah moved upon the face of the waters. And Yahuwah said, Let there be light, and there was light. And Yahuwah saw the light, that it was good. And Yahuwah divided the light from the darkness. Genesis 1, 1 through 4. And we all know darkness cannot mix with light, and that is why he divided it. Yahusha is referenced by Yehukinen or John as being the word that created that created first light. This unique quality of Yahusha being light is mentioned in many other scriptures throughout the Bible or throughout the Besora as well. In the beginning was the word and the word was with Yahuwah. And the word was Yahuwah. The same was in the beginning with Yahuwah. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John or Yehuchanan 1, 1 through 5. Put your trust in the light while you have it, so that you may become sons of light. Yehuchanan or John 12, 36. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Yahusha, his son, purifies us from all sin. 1 Yehuchanan 1, 7 or 1 John. For Yahuwah, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahuwah in the face of Yahusha HaMashiach. 2 Corinthians 4, 6 Then spake Yahusha again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life. Yehuchanan or John 8.12 And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Adonai Yahuwah giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Revelation 22.5 and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Matthew or Matthew seventeen two. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that Yahuwah is light, and in him is no darkness at all. One John one five or one Yehuchanan one five. Since Yahusha is the son of Yahuwah, he is of his father. Creator Yahuwah is also described as having tremendous light, so much so Moses's or M Moshe or Musha's face beheld that magnificent glory on it after coming down from Mount Sinai. Moses' face had encountered something much more than mere sunburn. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with two tablets of, of testimony in, Mos in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with, with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Yasharal saw Moses, behold, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him. And Moses talked with them, and afterward all the children of Yasharal came nigh, or came near. And he gave them in commandment all that Yahuwah had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. And till Moses had done speaking to them, or speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before Yahuwah to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Yasharal. 
that which he was commanded. And the children of Yasharal saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. Exodus 34, 29-35 Next time we will be reading Hitler's obsession over the shroud to clone Yahusha, or J-E-S-U-S, because most of the world believes in the J-Man. Um, blood from the Shroud and the Coming Anti-Mashiach. Those will be the two next chapters we read. Um, the one after that is called The Iconic Clone is a Soulless Imposter. And that will be a, a separate video all, all by itself. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson today. Um, and if by chance, anyone didn't have a happy day today. I would like to bring you guys some joy. Um, this is one of my favorite songs to sing when I'm feeling down. And um, I would love to sing it with you guys, for you guys right now. So, count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy, count it all joy. Through the persecution, Yahushua went through it too. Count it all joy, count it all joy. Through the trials and tribulations, through the suffering and the pain. Count it all joy, count it all joy. No matter what you're going through, when you don't know what to do, just look to Yahusha and count it all joy. When Hashatan comes to wrench into your life, drop down to your knees and pray. To Abba Yahuwah, and He will work it all out for you. So you can count it all joy, count it all joy, count it all joy, count it all joy. Yahuwah works everything out for good. Your heart and your mind must be working in unison. Stay faithful to you, and he'll stay faithful to you, so you can count it all joy. Don't get caught up in the worries or cares of this world. Stay on the narrow path, not the brother to destruction. Yahuwah always has your back and your righteous ways. So you can count it all joy, count it all joy. I love you all with an everlasting love. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth.